right, so what's up, y'all? It's another segment of my Two Cent Tuesdays. Um, got some music playing in the background because I'm here at the warehouse doing some work. Um, but <clears throat> I wasn't going to do a video this week, and I thought about it. Let me go ahead and do one. Last weekend, I did not do any events. Um, I kind of purposely planned that. If something would have came along, yes, I would have did it. But I just needed to take a break. And every now and then, we have to do that. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am a full-time DJ. This is what I do full-time. Um, I eat, sleep, and breathe this and whatnot. Um, I do live sound. Um, I do lighting. I'm working with my guy, Jason, uh, which you guys haven't met yet, uh, but I'll introduce him on another video. I was going to introduce him on another video, but I haven't posted that one yet for uh, personal reasons. I haven't posted that one yet. Um, but Jason is one of my sound guys. Uh, when I do big events, he runs uh, stage mix. I run front of house mix. I usually like it that way. He's capable of running everything from the iPad, from the Baron Jax 32 that, that we run together, and we go from there. Um, and besides that, my ears are usually, I listen to certain things out in the open air as far as the front of, front of house system or whatever. But besides the point, when you're, you know, even with me, yes, I do have down times as well. When I do have my down times, that's when I take the time I go through music files. Um, I go through my equipment, check my wiring, make sure everything is up to par, make sure there's no broken or uh, bent cables, cut cables. Sometimes, you know, we run cables through the doorway. Sometimes we, I don't I care to do that because I did end up getting the extension cord cut that way before I had to throw away the extension cord or repair it some type of way. Um, you know, that's, a, that's the down times that we, when, during the down times, that's what we do. We take that time to do repairs and stuff like that. Um, both Jason and I had the same issue with our top ends, um, with my boxes here, which, let me just show you this real quick. All right, so I'm here working on my crossover now. Let me cut this music down So, uh, Working on this crossover now. Um, for those of you that watched one of my other videos, you seen that I was having problems with um, the speakers. This particular box was supposed to be reading one thing as far as the ohms, and it's reading something totally different. Um, so both he and I were having some issues with running stuff series versus parallel. So we we've been working on that stuff there for the uh, last couple of days now. Um, I figured figured out his problem. Um, now I'm going to see if I can track down mine. So I'm going to put the box back at factory standards, same way how I got it, and go from there, see if it works. So again, you know, if, if you're doing this full-time, part-time, you're a bedroom DJ or whatever, uh, well, the bedroom DJs, I'm not even going to address that because they, they have more time. But for those of you that don't have um, gigs every weekend, Use that time to practice, you know, perfect your craft. Um, you can practice, like I said, go through your equipment. Make sure that you go through all of that stuff so that way when you get to the next event, you're never wondering, well, why is this speaker not coming on or why isn't this mic coming on? Stuff like that. I have one of my other guys came here uh, a couple of days ago and something about his Sure wireless mic um, kept cutting in and out. First I thought he was meaning a Sure handheld, meaning a, a SM58 Sure mic, and I'm thinking that, well, did you change the cable? He said, yeah, and it was doing the same thing. So, you know, again, I'm thinking that it's a Sure handheld SM58. I, I don't have one here to show you. Uh, Jason has all the Sures there. I, I have Sennheisers on this end. But um, he, uh, when he brought it to me, it was a Sure wireless. Um, the thing was, he did not know that pretty much every time that you go somewhere to scan the frequencies or channels and that way the microphone can best find the best frequency that will work for that particular venue or that particular area. Uh, where we're at, there's a lot of antennas, antennas 
Um, you know, there's radio station antennas, there's television antennas, there's, you know, for those of you that don't know, there's a certain amount of frequencies that was bought out by one of the cell phone carriers. So I showed them how to do that and went from there. Again, these are stuff that we do during the downtime, make sure we get repairs and stuff done and uh, go from there. So if, if you don't have gigs every weekend, take that time, again, perfect your craft, go through your equipment, wires, cables, everything. That way when the next gig come, you know for sure, 100%, you get to that venue or that party or whatever it is, the wedding, you are going to plug up and everything is working perfectly. So, um, you know, again, this is just one of the things that I do in my downtimes and hope y'all, uh, that advice could help some people. Uh, again, this is DJ Red, the real DJ Red with two Ds. Y'all make sure y'all hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, the real DJ Red. That's T H E R E A L D J R E double D. Um, you follow me, I follow back. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it from there. Thank you guys for following. Please share. Uh, got any comments? Leave them down below. Thank you. Peace.